Hello guys on YouTube. I'm just gonna do a quick video of my new tractor I just got. This one was free along with a wheel horse that's gonna be in another video that I just got. I don't know the exact year, but it's a Huffy Caprice seven horse electric start. Not too bad. The body needs a little bit of cleanup, but the one thing I thought was pretty neat about it. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a plug-in that you plug into your outlet, and you flip the switch here to start the tractor. Thought that was pretty interesting. And as soon as I got it off the truck last night, the guy wasn't sure if it would start. He hasn't had gas in it in a couple of years, so I put a little carb spray into it and just fired right over. So that was quite impressive to me. So the only thing it does need is a steering pin because you can turn the steering wheel on the the steering gear don't work but there's a pin in there somewhere that he told me he was just replacing it with cotter pins but my cousin he won't, he works on a farm and they got the pins I need so should have that fixed soon there's my baby craftsman I put it here to compare sizes craftsman just a hair smaller my dad's case 222 is still looking for a motor Finding a Kohler replacement for it has become more of a hassle than anything. Everybody wants top dollar for Kohler, so being a free tractor, we didn't want to spend too much money on it, so I don't know if we'll ever get one for it or not. There's my dad's regular Murray. Some random junk. A bunch of gas tanks that come off all my tractors. My Sears is the bigger one. The little one's a simplicity. Both of them are full of rust, so they're probably no good. I don't know if I can clean them. Two mufflers. This one come off a Honda Civic that I bought. 1989 Civic SI hatchback. It's a Gretty muffler, which is quite expensive. So I thought that was cool. And this is our Murray. Piece of crap. Adjusted the valves last spring to get it running. It's got a 17 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton and adjusted the valves and the, it ran fine for the summer. Towards the fall, it won't start again. And same issue with the valves. I don't know whether they had issues like that with the overhead valves or not. But that's that. I'll get a closer look at the case. Overall, it's not too bad. It's restorable. The metal was all good on it. Here's my three-point hitch for my Sears. Almost had brand new tires on this. And if you're wondering, that's a block, a D16 A6 out of a Honda Civic that I bought for a spare for my car. So I was rebuilding the motor until the rust finally killed the car. So kind of use it as an anchor nowadays. Wait. That's that. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.